What are you doing, Abby? What you looking at over there? Come on. Come over here. Um, probably still pretty chilly. <laughs> oh, it's not really that bad, actually. It's not? No, it's kind of nice. A lot of times when this uh, lake floods, this water will go all the way back up there. And this RV park that we're at. There's our RV. Yeah, there's our RV up there. This park, like it'll, the, the water will go all the way back up over this first hill here. Tyson, boy, you will scratch your butt on anything, won't you? Hey guys, so we're here at a place called Just Stickers here in Waco. We're getting the truck and the RV inspected because both registrations uh, <laughs> went out in March and we hadn't been here to get it done. So we're getting that done. Now in Texas, you have to get it inspected. You have to get the vehicle inspected before they you can get the registration. So we're getting them both inspected and then since they are expired we have to go downtown to the courthouse to get the registration stickers and then we have to move RV spots since we didn't plan on even staying home this whole week we're only going to stay home the weekend when we originally didn't even plan on pulling the RV out um, the spot that we got out at the lake was only available for till today and all the other spots were reserved it fills up out there on the weekends as you can imagine we are actually going to go to a spot that is kind of off 35 it's an rv park we've stayed there before it's really nice so we're gonna stay there until sunday then we'll pack up let's put the rv and truck back in storage and get back in our truck and get out get available i, I don't even know what footage i have right now for videos if i have enough i'll do two vlog videos if not it may just be one video all jumbled in together so but i know y'all understand i mean we've been at home and trying to get a lot of stuff done so filming has been on the back burner and i know y'all understand that got a lot to do in the RV I'm actually what I'm doing is I'm um, we got rid of a bunch of stuff and now I'm actually boxing the stuff up that we're keeping so when we do or if we do switch RVs it'll be easier to transfer from one RV to the other so yay <laughs>
check out the beautiful tree cover at this RV park. It's so nice. Cleaning out the tanks. Oh, this is probably the last time we're gonna be doing this in this RV. Yeah. We're planning on trading it in. We got everything boxed up and cleaned. There is nothing left in any cabinets. Got everything out of the cabinet stuff up there. So yeah, this is the last look at this beast. She's been a good RV. We love it. I mean, it's a beautiful RV. We love it. We love the space, but we just don't need the space. So just give you one last look. <laughs> uh, what do you think, guys? Y'all ready? Nothing left in any of these cabinets. What do you think, Tyson? You gonna miss this RV? You ready for an Airstream? Yeah, I want one I can go up the steps on. Yeah, I think the Airstream's gonna be nicer for them. But... A lot lower to the ground. Yeah, it's not so high. But, like I said, we've loved this RV, but it's just time to downsize. It's still just too big for us. We want to be able to... When we come home for home time, we want to be able to just hook up to a, an RV and go, not worry about, oh my gosh, the cabinets might come open. We got to go in and yeah, so. I hate the slides. Yeah, Jason doesn't like the slides. And that's just one more thing mechanically that could go wrong with the RV. And, you know, we've had some issues already with it. We've had it for almost four years, but we're hardly ever in it. You know, we're out on the road more than we're in this. and. So anyway, yeah, this is the last, the last, the last hoorah in this RV. <laughs> when we come home next time, we'll hopefully have a new one. Yeah. So, bye RV.